Hey guys, I am Trucker Rudy. Thank you for uh, tuning into my show today. So let's get this show started. Hey ladies and gentlemen, good morning everybody. <clears throat> Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. Beautiful sunshine out there today. Yeah, and guess what? We're making our way down to Winnipeg. The reason being is for our daughter. She's uh, going to get some blood work done. And the reason why she needs that is because uh, of the diet and all the medication and all that she's on. And so we're going to go to Winnipeg. She has to come there and uh, draw blood. And she has to do that on an empty stomach. Yeah. So we're making our way down to Winnipeg bright and early this morning. So hopefully we can get in there right away and get that taken care of. And then we'll go to breakfast somewhere, right? I yeah. think so. Yeah, we'll go to breakfast somewhere and then probably go back home and... And then I'll probably go pick up the truck and then uh, we'll uh, get ready and go back to Winnipeg again. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go twice to Winnipeg today, I think. <clears throat> I think we're going to be going to our friend's place for dinner. <clears throat> yeah. I think we're going to go down Blumen Art today on 311. I think that's what we're going to do. It snowed a little bit overnight. Well, even as you saw on yesterday's video there when we were barbecuing. You guys saw that was snowing? Yeah. In town, the roads were actually a little bit slippery. But out here on the road, they're good. No problem. They're fine. So here we go. Make sure nobody's coming. All right, guys. We are done at the hospital. We have uh, gotten a blood drawn from Jessica. She's over there sleeping, or trying to sleep. Yeah, she's eating, eating now because she wasn't allowed to eat this morning. And we're getting ready to do the same thing. So that's how we look. Yeah. What do you got over there? Quesadilla. Quesadilla. All right. So let's get to eating. We're hungry. Well guys, I am sitting back in the truck. Yes, we have gotten back to Steinbach. And I got my truck fixed now, as far as we know. Our AC is now officially working. And I want to show you this part that got changed on it. And give you guys, uh, you drivers out there, a little bit of a tip if you are driving a Volvo yes so let's show you guys a little bit now this is the piece right here this is considered a climate control unit it's got two big wires that are about that long on the back that are plugged into this little thing would you believe it or not how much this little thing cost well, I'm about to show you guys. Yes. Let me show you guys. Here we go. That is the amount of money that I had to pay for this unit right here. You see? A control unit AC on dash. Cost me $675.21 for that little piece right there and all it does is control my fan and AC and heat and I guess where I want the uh, air to be blowing it and all it is is a little electronic electronic control panel six hundred and seventy five dollars can you believe that oh that's crazy I would say that's expensive and it is but apparently that fixed my problem. I was right there when he changed it. And as soon as he did, my AC worked. Everything worked just as it was supposed to. 
and uh, my mechanic gave me a tip and he said to me one of the problems with these control panels is that if you look really closely right here there's gaps in there and uh, you got the uh, coffee mug holder right here and what the problem seems to be is uh, if you have a coffee in here and it spills coffee right into there he says the coffee gets in between these gaps in there and it runs in behind the control panel there and it basically burns out the uh, control panel so that's what he thinks what might have happened with mine maybe some water or something got in there or some coffee some kind of fluid and possibly burnt it out I mean I knew it was acting up for a good while because whenever I had the fan on speed number three the uh, fan would go whoo, 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 like it would speed up and slow down sometimes you know so I knew it wasn't a hundred percent but it always worked right well no it's a brand spanking new one so uh, everything works just beautifully now with the, even with the fan and everything so so that's fantastic news so I'm very happy to report that although it did cost me an arm and a leg to get everything fixed mind you I did get a grease job done as well so my final bill was eight hundred and eight dollars and forty four cents for those of you that want to become an owner operator or whatever you just get yourself a few tips from here and there from me you know just to uh, show you guys a little bit on these things do cost money to repair these big trucks nothing is cheap on a big truck that's for sure and that's not all let me get this other bill out here this is the bill from last time when I simply just pretty much got my AC changed and they changed the fan belt on on it and they had to change an o-ring uh, on on the compressor I assume and stuff like that well here is the total amount for that $1,188 just basically just to have my AC replaced and refill it like got the uh, refrigerated fluid and all that back in there so just to, goes to show you just simply to have my AC fixed this is what it has cost me basically two thousand dollars just to fix my AC simple as that pretty much nothing else was done <laughs> make out a grease job I got my AC compressor fixed I got a new com AC compressor got it refilled and changed this control panel because it got burned out somehow in the process of the other one burning up and that's it two thousand dollars right there or actually a little over twenty one hundred dollars because this one was eight hundred and eight dollars and the other one was eleven hundred and something so right there pretty much two thousand dollars you know anyways that's about it that's enough for that we'll get out of here we'll go back inside and get ready I got to add a few more videos together and then uh, we'll go to Winnipeg to our friend's place and have a good supper well ladies and gentlemen we are back at home yeah we didn't videotape anything last night from the barbecuing there at our friend's place and stuff like that but uh, hey we're gonna do a special shout out right now yeah we're just watching uh, last week's Saturday's video so uh, we're gonna give us a we're gonna give you guys a special shout out. So who is it to? Uh, this is uh, gonna give Cody and Brandon, I think it is, uh, a shout out. Mm -hmm. so we met him at the trucker. Short Mid America Truck Show. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, guys. We're watching you guys on big screen today. Yeah. Isn't that cool or what? But anyways, you had fun last night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got together with our friends in Winnipeg there uh, yesterday for barbecue and I figured, you know what, since we've shown you a barbecue the day before already, we wasn't going to show you another barbecue last night, but hey, you know, maybe another day. There's going to be plenty of times here in summer we're going to show you barbecue, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But anyways, we're going to get out of here and I'm going to go ahead and put this video together for you guys so you guys have something to watch next Saturday or next Friday yeah so it'll be next friday because today is saturday <laughs> yeah so with that being said have a good one give me a thumbs up on the video 
if you liked it. If not, hey, give me a thumbs up. Who cares? <laughs> Anyways, have a good one, everybody, and we'll see you again tomorrow. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.